Only seven separate mass shootings took place this weekend. The Washington Post reports not a single week this year has passed without at least four mass shootings, which is defined as four more people being shot at one time. And meanwhile, Congress is hoping to reach a bipartisan agreement on some new gun laws. Our Washington correspondent Joe St. George shows us what realistically could change and what's not part of the negotiations. Guns. We know you have an opinion. Maybe it's closer to President Biden's. We should limit how many rounds a weapon can hold. Maybe it's closer to what many conservatives so think. Mental illness and school safety are what we need to target. Well, regardless of your opinion, the reality is lawmakers on Capitol Hill continue to work toward a bipartisan measure that just might pass the split Senate and democratically controlled House and become law. Both political parties are optimistic. So where is compromise emerging? Well, one area is federal funding for states to create or improve red flag laws. 19 states already have the law in the books, which allows law enforcement to seize guns from those deemed a threat. Another area is school safety upgrades. That could include everything from improved doors to increased in-person security. And finally, improved mental health, which would likely focus on better funding, especially for young people. What doesn't the emerging compromise include? For now, it does not raise the minimum age to buy semi-automatic guns. It doesn't restrict bump stocks or high-capacity magazines. Both allow for rounds to be fired more rapidly. Laws around AR-15 style guns are not expected to change either. That gun has been used in some mass shootings in recent years, including shootings in Tulsa, Uvalde, and Buffalo. One area to watch this week as the Senate returns to Washington is whether any change to background checks will be included. Democrats and Republicans are hoping to announce some kind of agreement in the coming days. Meanwhile, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi is setting up her own votes this week on bills that would restrict who can buy a gun and how a gun can operate. But those bills currently lack enough Republican support in the Senate. Now, President Biden has made clear, though, over the course of the last several days, his executive authority on this issue is relatively limited. He already signed executive orders relating to gun violence after the Boulder grocery store shooting last year. He's made clear to Congress that anything more has to be passed through them. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George. Turning now to our Price of Paradise series as we focus on the rising cost of living here in the Bay Area and what's being done about it. Small businesses have also felt the strain here and now shipping containers turned into locally owned businesses are open in the Bay Area. Cheaper alternative to a traditional brick and mortar store at Crate Container Park in Wesley Chapel. 94 shipping containers are now home to mom and pop restaurants and retail shops, most of which are first time business owners. The containers range anywhere from 300 to 900 square feet, starting rent is $1,500. That's just enough space for many snack bars like Yummy Tablets. The owner tells us it really is the perfect opportunity. I come to this country for, for a reason and, and finally, after yeah, almost 15 years, I, I finally found my dream. Yeah. My dream job, my dream business, and the rent was so affordable, but so I decided like, this is it, this is my place, this is where I'm gonna start my business. Good for her. Looks really nice inside, too. There's more than a dozen retail shops at Crate Container Park in Wesley Chapel and more than two dozen restaurants. Now to Positively Tampa Bay, all about people doing good in our community. A nonprofit designed to help the homeless is going strong a decade later. On Sunday, Erica's Angels made lunches to feed the homeless. 18-year-old Erica Gilcrest got the idea to help others after noticing a number of people who were homeless in Georgia where she used to live. She started the nonprofit at the age of eight with the help of her parents parents. One thing I would say about, you know, the less fortunate to come out here is they're always grateful. They are always, you know, just so overfilled with joy when they're able to get new clothes and they're able to get fed because some of these people out here, they're not able to eat every single day. The nonprofit runs on donations so they can only afford to do these meal events a few times a year. Well, in case you missed it on our on Friday, our community tour stopped in Plant City. One of our favorite moments was this surprise. I told you Greg Williams owns Brick City Bricks, Plant City's own Lego store. Look what he made for us out of Legos, ABC Action News. I love this. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's fantastic. Let's just hope nobody walks around barefoot in the studio now. <laughs> I love that. We got to put that up somewhere. 
Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Dia's off today, so we still don't have that here. Oh, <laughs> so she did take. Okay, so I, it I was, think she's got it. Okay, yeah. Interesting. It's like the Stanley Cup. It's on a tour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot of room between the two of us, though. It would go right it, it here would, for right now. It would fit. That's and, a great and, idea. <laughs> another highlight, guys, was the the dancers with clogging connection. They perform live in our 9 a.m. show. They won many competitions over the years. They showed us why. You can see our full coverage from Plant City and every community we visited on ABC Action news.com slash around town. Dia did a nice job out there mm -hmm. in Plant City. I'm going to go to Seminole Heights in a week. Oh, cool. Not too, far, not, um, yeah. not too far <laughs> for me. So we're looking forward to that. Nice. That'll yeah. be a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. you can kind of do maybe send Sean to your house. Send Sean to Greg's house. <laughs> wake up the significant yeah. others. I don't, know. I don't know. Too much just, energy just for an Sean idea. <laughs> with Sean. I don't know if Cookie would not appreciate <laughs> Sean waking her up that early. He was really fired up. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, love visiting all the communities around town. Tampa Bay. Uh, we're really exploring all the nooks and crannies around the region as you take a live look outside here in uh, Clearwater, a place we've already uh, been to that area as well. Temperatures out there into the 70s right now. We are looking at some pop ups later in the afternoon when and where they're most likely to form and look at the seven day forecast with your rain chances there. That's just ahead, Sarah. All righty. Thank you, Greg. If you were looking to grab a drink and walk around John's Pass, you might want to think again. The reason city commissioners voted down a proposal that would allow the drink Drinking at the village and barbecue seasons in full effect and our Shea Ryan has a potato salad recipe. That'll be a star side dish at your next cookout. Not asking for anything major. We're saying don't discriminate against me because of the type of hair that I may have. An in-depth look at why this discrimination still exists and what's being done to address it in Florida tonight at six on ABC Action News. Does your insurance company want you to settle fast? Pump the brakes. Hold the phone and call 1-800-ASK-GARY. It's a free accident helpline with your best interest in mind. Don't settle fast for less. Call 1-800-ASK-GARY. So, you want this, but you can't have it without this. Or this, or this. Until now, introducing a new way to travel intranationally. Get all that international charm without ever leaving the country. Right here in St. Augustine, Bonavitra. Get all that culture. All the cuisine from that culture. You're welcome. All the gram-worthy sights from that hashtag culture. It's right here at home. St. Augustine, Bonavitra. Travel intranationally. Summer is the time for adventure. The time to reignite the senses and make <laughs> unforgettable memories. It's a moment to slow down and to speed up to soak in the warmth or find a chance to cool off. Summer is back. So make the most of it during your summer of more at Gaylord Hotels. There's no limit to deliciousness when you order on the McDee app and get 20% off any purchase of a dollar or more every day. Don't hold back. You've got the app. Pick up a crispy chicken sandwich, fries, and a Dr. Pepper and save 20% with the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Our Red Cap commitment ensures that we'll always be here for all your plumbing needs. Whenever you need us. Right now, get a drain clearing for just $99. Call us today or visit redcapplumbing.com. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. At Morgan & Morgan, <laughs> our fee is free. You don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan and Morgan for the people.com. Free! Amazing Memorial Day savings have been extended. Keys, keys, keys. Everything's on sale now. 20% off your entire purchase or 0% interest for 60 months. Memorial Day savings continue. Everything's on sale. Over $20 million of inventory. All in stock and ready to go. Now at Canes and CanesFurniture.com. Get more for less. Broken springs are the most common repair that we do. At Precision Garage Door, we know how important your time is. That's why we get in, we get the job done, and leave you with a quality repair. I'm not an actor. I'm a garage door technician. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. No answers, no lawyer, no clue, no problem. Just call 1-800-ASK-GARY. It's a free accident helpline that will put your mind at ease. Call 1-800-ASK-GARY. Anytime, day or night. 
ABC Action News Plus. It's local news available anywhere at any time for free. Just download ABC Action News Plus on your favorite device to watch our 24-7 streaming news channel. ABC Action News Plus is sponsored by Robert Palmer and RP Funding. President Joe Biden is heading to late night television. The president will visit Jimmy Kimmel Live Wednesday and be an in-studio guest. This will be his first in-studio appearance on a late night comedy show since taking office. The president will be in L.A. for the Summit of the Americas. The appearance comes as President Biden deals with gun violence, soaring gas prices, rising COVID cases, and record high inflation. So there's a lot to talk about. You can watch that interview right here on ABC Action News. It is official. Keep your alcoholic drinks off the boardwalk. City commissioners voted against turning Johns Pass Village into a wet zone. The village has lots of things for customers to do, including shopping and fishing. The proposal, though, would have allowed customers to enjoy the village with a beer or other alcoholic beverage in hand. Captain Dylan Hubbard of Hubbard's Marina supported turning Johns Pass Village into a wet zone. That's what Johns Pass is all about, is having a good time and enjoying the beautiful outdoors environment. So enabling people to move more freely inside the pass is going to be good for everybody. The city manager says allowing people to walk around with drinks could cause several issues, including potential liability the city may face if things get out of hand. Another issue, the city manager says more bars might move into that area, creating a bar district. Officials also say the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office had concerns about public safety. Cancer survivors and their families were at a special drive-in celebration over the weekend. The event was called Celebrate the Music of Life, and it was held in Lakewood Ranch. Each person was able to bring a guest and pick a meal of their choice. Then, if they wanted, they could enjoy the music from their car. They say it meant a lot to gather together. I was diagnosed seven years ago next week. So, uh, survivorship is something that we all try to improve. Uh, there is a lot of challenges for us. The event was sponsored by the Cancer Resource Network and businesses in the Bay Area. Volunteers helped put it on. Well, now that our summer barbecue season has kicked into gear, a cool side dish is as important as anything hot off the grill. And our Shay Ryan sharing some tips for making a fantastic potato salad. So we're gonna take these ordinary potatoes and we are going to make potato salad. But because I can't leave well enough alone, it's not just an ordinary potato salad. We're gonna load it up with things like bacon and cheese and some other stuff too. Ultimate bacon potato salad is what I call it. So let's start with the bacon. Cut a half pound into one half inch chunks and throw it into a frying pan over medium high heat. Stir it around a bit from time to time to keep it cooking evenly and from sticking together. Once it's browned and crisp, remove it from the pan and let it drain on paper towels. Next, rinse and cut the potatoes into half inch pieces and put them in a large bowl. Nope, we aren't boiling them. We're gonna roast the potatoes. Drizzle them with olive oil and mix it around to coat the pieces evenly. Sprinkle on the salt, celery salt, onion and garlic powders, black pepper, and chipotle chili powder. Stir that all around to coat the potatoes evenly and then spread them out on a well-greased foil-lined sheet pan. About 15 minutes later, they come out of the oven browned and beautifully seasoned, which you just can't get with boiled potatoes. While they cool to room temp, separate the hard boiled eggs, roughly chopping the whites and mashing the yolks with a fork. Then combine the cooled potatoes with the egg yolks, whites, the sour cream, mayo, scallions, shredded cheese, and apple cider vinegar. Give that a good stir to combine everything really well and then add in the bacon and stir again. When you're ready to serve, top it with a few pieces of crispy bacon and a few scallions. So just let the potato salad chill through in the refrigerator before digging in, or you could even make it a day ahead so that the flavors really start to marry. It's fantastic with anything you're gonna pull off the grill, and my personal favorite is barbecue chicken. You can find this recipe for ultimate bacon potato salad at homewithshay.com. Shay Ryan, ABC Action News. For more of Shay's recipe segments, check out ABC Action News Plus or follow her on Instagram at home with Shay. Mm -hmm. That's a very good one this time yeah. of year. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Potato salad, macaroni salad, all the sides for the cookouts. Oh, I know. You have Can't to. Can't beat it. It's important. That contrast, yeah. something hot off the grill, Ooh. Greg, with a side dish. I mean, if you don't have a side dish, it just doesn't feel slaw. right. A little goodness, slaw. You guys really got me going this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looked amazing. The bacon inside and then the little... 
A little sprinkle of that crispy bacon on top. That's a good little breakfast on a summer morning, too. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Shay's always got some amazing recipes. She makes it look so good, too. That's my favorite part. Upper 80s to near 90 this afternoon. Citrus County Nature Coast. Good morning. Going to be a really nice day out there. Now, this afternoon and the evening, especially just east of Citrus of Crystal River. So uh, maybe Floral City, Inverness. You're going to see some pop up showers and storms. I think the sea breeze is going to get active later in the afternoon. Take a look at the hour by hour rain planner as promised here uh, five o'clock rain chance up to 60 percent along the coast there in citrus county it's more like 20 or 30 percent so much of the rain is going to be mainly east of the sun coast and east of 98 there you see the rainfall forecast notice pretty good spread here around a peninsula but there are some heavier batches one along the east coast out towards i-95 out here towards our area the beaches stay pretty dry but just away from the coast as the sea breeze is coming in could see a little pop up just about anywhere uh, that rain chance mainly in the middle and early parts of the afternoon first then in the evening we could watch some of these storms try to work their way back towards the coast that would increase the rain chances there so take a look at the hour by hour forecast inside the super seven day 70s early 80s by midday notice along the coast that sea breeze gets pretty active right, right around midday then everything shifts out towards the east side of the state for tonight and some of that could try to work its way back towards the east later this evening so the storms kind of bouncing around as they typically do this time of year tomorrow similar kind of weather pattern we'll see that midday to early afternoon rain chance and then again later in the day temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90 then the pattern switches up onshore flow starts to intensify Wednesday Thursday and into the weekend maybe even a frontal system in the mix by the weekend increasing our rain coverage to at least 40 percent Sarah all righty thank you Greg I am taking a look at the big picture right now where it's relatively quiet out there with the exception of the Sunshine Skyway now keep in mind that the drive times look just fine, but there was an earlier accident reported. Uh, so right now you will notice just a little bit of uh, some flashing lights northbound as you kind of are on your uh, way down from the peak of the bridge. But it almost looks like that person, Road Ranger possibly, or even a, just a disabled vehicle, maybe they'll be moving out of the way sometime soon. I'll keep you updated on that one. No problems reported on the Howard Franklin any longer with roadblock. There was a crash southbound on the Tampa side of the bridge. Still watching though, one crash in St. Pete. Uh, that would be 54th Avenue North at 49th Street North with some blockage reported. Let's get to live drive. We're working our way westbound on I-4. We are approaching the Salmon Connector right now, cruising at 54 miles per hour, uh, taking it nice and easy out there this morning. You'll notice there are no delays approaching 275. Coming up, the 2022 Special Olympics underway in Orlando, but before the games began, there was controversy over the vaccine requirement. The warning the state gave the organization, causing it to reverse course. Plus, history made over the weekend in Texas, how the first ever Mexican-born woman was picked to launch into space. But first, here's Tully's Tales. In this Tully's Tales, just how far can a dog's love take you? Don Lee Bell tells me, as far as you'll let it. I made some mistakes in the path. He never left my side. Sober now for six years, Don's Chihuahua Ace has seen her through some dark times. When she bottomed out and lived out of her car. When she lost her husband. But most importantly, he was with her when she found peace. Very grateful. It's, I'm a grateful, grateful person to be alive. And uh, my dogs have helped me do that. Ace is now 18 years old. And he's just not ready to go. He's just not ready to go. He's a happy dog. His best trait, according to Dawn, he's always close to her. And as little Ace battles congestive heart failure, every day right now is a gift. It's tough. It's tough thinking about it because there's so many great things about him that, that I will miss. It gets me a little bit upset. <laughs> but if you've ever doubted the emotional lift and support an animal can give you, just look at these two, Dawn and Ace. And I've never had a better best friend. Really happy I could do that for you, Dawn. I want to tell your pet story, too. Join the Tully's Tales Facebook group and tell me about your rescued pet. Good morning, Tampa Bay. I'll be right back.